Uh, spawn on my bed. I'm just gonna run. Hey guys, it's me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose, and today we're back with more seven days to die Alpha 16 gameplay footage. Now, this is another excerpt from uh, Sunday's live stream where we did an eight hour stream with Casket Man and myself. Uh, we're picking up where I left off. It's day two and I just died, so I'm going to respawn and we'll see what happens. Hope you guys enjoy it. Island. Nope, that's a small one. It's the liver. Is that thing camp in my body? Feels good to play seven days with the crew again. Oh, there'll be more once they decide to wake up and come out. Oh, I know. Ooh, a 388 rifle. Man, this is like Wolf Road. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
All right. <laughs> All right, let's get across here, catch up with the rest of the crew. I'm a swimming. I hear boom booms. Say what? I said I hear boom booms. I need them close. I just want to get somewhere and get situated so I can start getting some resources together. Figures I'd be the one that spawns in furthest away from everything. Okay, that should have shared it with you. I found the traitors. Screamer. Oh, did you guys make a garden already? No, that was already in town. Oh, wow. Freaking Hoochie almost made it all the way inside. Screamer over here at our hotel. I thought they don't come until day three. Oh no, they come almost immediately now. Good news. Paper money now has a use. Hmm. You can trade it in for dukes. Well, that's always been that way. Yar. Nice. Right about now, Thunder's realizing, really? <laughs> <laughs> All this time, I've been just like doing nothing with it. Oh, I usually used to turn it into paper. Turn it into paper, use it for making shells. Yeah, you use it to make shotgun shells.
Of course, night vision goggles. 10,710 dukes. Now I know what you mean by sleepers. Yeah. Well, Jimmy's just like Rex. They're both the traitors that are not nice. Starting to see the glitch casket was talking about last night with things floating. How do I miss that? There's EVR. Wow, planting is a lot better.
another screamer. Oh, she's inside the base now. This is the base, uh... I'm just getting back to town, so it's gotta be casket. Who, what now? Oh, you're in the hotel here? Yes. around to the back side to the pool you can jump in through a window which they can also jump in through yeah anything that's one block high they can jump into it's got to be at least two blocks up Ooh, they actually changed everything or am i in the wrong spot probably Interior water. Nice. Mm-hmm. How about that for luck, huh? Nice. I like. Did we ever get a cooking pot? No. Oh, neat. Do you know if you hold your tab button down, it gives you a wheel to select stuff from? Mm-hmm. I never knew that. I just noticed it, but I really haven't looked at it. Well, so much for trying to outlast zombies by treading water. I just had one follow me across the lake, and he walked along the bottom as fast as I could swim. Vultures are overhead now. Have you gone through this building yet? Or? Not everything, no. Got my first turd. Did 
Who's got the aloe? Uh, I think I have a few. I got some I got seeds, that's it. Come on, wrench. serious come on open I seem to be getting a little little lag with my menu Finish up my little quest things here. Three, 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 three. Let's do this. Bust out a window here. Here and. Booyah, booyah. So that gets that done. What's the last quest again? Campfire, probably. Campfire. Did y'all find a cooking pot yet? No. I'm gonna be working on making a forge here, so if even if we don't find one, I'll be able to make one.
I've got all the stuff to make the, uh... Feed. Covering book. Make the what? I've got all the stuff to make the, the, uh, the bellows. Alright, go ahead and do that. I found another pistol and more ammo. I got two bellows making. Is there a limit to the amount of times you can use tools? Well, yeah, they, they have durability. So as you see, like with the stone axe, the durability keeps going down every time I use it. And so you have to make new ones every time they break, so. Uh, will the PS4 update be today? I don't think so, Jacob. I uh, don't think PS4 is going to update for a while. I think they've sent an update to them. Oh, okay. But I haven't been reading on those tweets, but I think one was sent. But I don't think it's going to be 16. I think they're going to be getting Alpha 15, maybe? I don't know. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I guess that's what I saw was people were saying they weren't getting Alpha 16. Well, and the one thing people don't always remember either is, or they don't know or understand, I see it a lot on uh, Twit, on on. on um, Twitch on uh, Twitter. The game that they are playing on console has to go through, I think, Telltale Games, the people who released it. So even though Joel and the Fun Pimps here can go ahead and make up this update here, they have to send it over to them and then they have to determine, okay, how are we going to get this in the game? You know, things like that. So uh, they could be right up to where we're at right now, but, you know, I don't know the whole logistics and whatever goes on with that God, obviously what we play on isn't going to always work on the console console has to have a smaller more condensed version okay we got two nine mils in the box over there now All right, did you do a bellows yet? Yeah, I got two of them. You got clay? Mm, uh, let's see, how much clay do I have? Where is it? 159. Yeah, hopefully they won't climb up that ladder right there. We might have to take out one of those steps. Awesome. Well, we could always move the entrance somewhere else. Yeah, I, I just did that for now. Hopefully we can get through tonight. Okay, the wheel's driving me nuts now. Somehow I've got it to where I have to go through the wheel to get into my inventory instead of just hitting tab.
annoying. Forge is over here on the right stairwell. Do you want to start loading it up with brass or just metal for now? Just iron and clay. That's it. Don't care about brass and lead. Don't need it. Not yet. We'll have a separate one for that one. In here in the forge. Oh. Right now, I'm just waiting for because uh, I think I need a uh, anvil for cooking pots. Yes.
Cash, can I toss some iron ore in there for you? We've got an iron pot now, so get those glass jars full of water and let's cook them up. Wait just a couple seconds. I'm making a uh, grill so we can do that too. So don't fire it up just yet. I see I don't have any wood. I do. Alright. There, we're up over a hundred now. Started organizing some stuff. God, that vulture gets annoying. Mm -hmm. All right, stone eggs. I need to find some more vitamins or antibiotics or something. Let's not put uncooked stuff or whatever in the, uh, uh, you know, the the campfire or the forge. If it needs to be smelted down, put a chest next to it. That way we'll know or something like that. Or put it in the chest that's already sorted out. For All right, I got a chest over here next to this campfire that I had food in. All the food materials in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fragments, wood. Wash to get some wood here in a minute. Can't see in the dark. And I meant to get the, uh, is this Alpha 16? Yes. I meant to get the candles out of that house I was in earlier. Mm. restarted the water. There's no sense in having two separate things of water. I just found two cooking pots. Hmm. We got a screamer coming. Having these issues.
That's funny. Uh, yeah, it's the experimental build. So, you know, again, as I said, Someone's the starving. there could be some crashes. There could be all kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm starving and dehydrated. Food. I will eventually. Yeah, there's there's food at the campfire. Ah. I will. Hey, that's all right. I planted a whole bunch of potatoes. I planted like 45 potatoes. Uh, so as soon as those are ready, I'll replant them again. That'll give us about 80 planted. So pretty soon we'll be up over 200. But then we can start using them and make meat stew. them all into seeds and ain't got what I need. Frickin' Vulture. Wow, y'all just can't see anything when it's at night, is it? can you? Mm-hmm. I'm looking at the live stream on my end, and I'm like, oh, it's just a black screen. <laughs> and I even turned the gamma up just a little bit. I've got mine up to 100, and it's still dark. Character scares the living hell out of me every time she does that moaning crap. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So like at least you know she's start, coming. I like when she starts yelling at you and it's like she's yelling, Hey! Hey! Tainted water.
I'm going back and check and make sure nothing got missed because looks like some stuff got missed. Have we got any more raw meat? We got four more eggs. Take that box over there. Yeah, I just did. Next to the, yeah, there's 31 over there. Welcome to day three, boys. We survived. So far. I think it just took EVR's door out on his room. I thank you. <laughs> I liked my privacy. <laughs> I just saw a door and I thought, oh, well, somebody skipped this room. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to go back to, you know, maybe putting up a crate out in front or a torch or something, putting something out in front of every building that's been looted so we don't have people going through again. I wish you could name boxes in this game. Yeah, you put all these chests out. It'd be nice that if you moused over it, you could see. I know you can make signs and put up, but it'd be nice if you could just name the box. And that way you could name a chest food and you could name the next one resources or whatever. You can make just a turd box. Box full of turds. I don't like that gamma being up that high. Boys and their guns.
No more bone shift for me. Are you hitting E to get to get this corn, or? Yeah. Okay, so if it doesn't come up, that means it's not ready to be picked. Now, only the ones green with ears on it comes is corn. I guess these are not. Yeah, these are. We just gotta punch these then for seeds. Oh, that's different then. Yeah, I usually go through and get all the green corn. And then knock everything down and then just replant this whole thing. In the beginning, you don't get crap for corn, but once you plant, you get three. If you fertilize, you get five. I'm telling you like you don't already know that. Located a machete. Okay. The changes they've made to like uh, the way you plant are really nice. He shows up. Yeah. Well, I didn't go to bed till like three last night. Talking to Moose and Hemi. And then uh, about five thirty, six o'clock this morning, my weather scanner goes off. I, what the hell's going on? It's like pull up the radar and look at start looking at the radar. Like, oh boy. Go outside and look to the west, and it was just green as grass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was uh -oh. ten o'clock. I looked at the radar, and it's sending lightning's three hundred miles away. I'm like, oh, that's born. That's that. And in Saint Paul, wow, they just got pounded. Yeah, I just got a little. I just got the little tail end of it. But yeah, it went up north. It was it was green, man. And the sun had just, you know, came up, but still, it, was, it wasn't, it was like, yellow, it was green. Mm -hmm. So I decided to watch that for a couple of hours. That nice cow crap green? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got a full field of potato over here. Yeah, I've been planting over there. Oh, yeah, we're on Moose's server. We're on, yeah, Moose's server, we're both live. Yep. Yeah, I was if, watching uh, you guys for a little bit. Are they are they ready to harvest or what? Uh, it showed me one potato available. So let me. Uh, okay, I'm making up. I planted earlier. I'm making up some red tea and some uh, goldenrod tea. Well, you really only need one, I think. Dysentery is only for the yellow, basically, but the red is the best. Well, they thought they both got rid of dysentery. Red might, but it red does. overall is still the best. Yeah. Well, the red cools you off like the yucca juice does. The the uh, goldenrod actually heats you up. So if you're in a winter biome, you want goldenrod tea with you. Uh, they changed that. Actually, it's snowberry. Yep, snowberry is the one that does that. Snowberry heats you up or cools you down? Warms you up. Oh. 
Snowberry is also something you don't want to eat too much of because you can get sick. Yep. Yeah, don't eat more than three at a time. Actually, it's kind of a waste to have Snowberry. It's not used for anything except for that drink, and since we don't need to warm up, if we've got any, might as well just throw it away. I hang on to them. I use them like a snack. You guys are on the island, right? Yep. The survivor island? <laughs> This old song and dance. <laughs> Picking up rocks and punching trees. Oh, wow. Forge hasn't got anything in it, so I'm shutting it off. There's a box over there next to the front door that's got all the metals in it. Yeah, I think I moved a lot of them over to uh, underneath the forge. 